Oh, hey guys, it's Tom here, and uh, as you know, the 1.8 update has come out for Minecraft, and uh, a lot of people want uh, the mods coming out. But there, I found that the zombie fly mod or zombies mod pack is out, and we're going to be installing that today. So uh, just want to log in and make sure you update the right version. Um, so once you're logged in and all that, make sure it's on 1.8, obviously, so you can exit out of that after. So you want to go to the link in the description which is the zombie mod pack and link which I'll provide in the description and you want to scroll down and you can see you get 26 mods in this it's not just it's commonly known for the fly mod which everyone uses in servers and single player but yeah there's 26 other um, mods in this which you can look at and I'll show you them later but we're going to download this so you want to go to the latest version which is 4.35 and you want to click the download link and you can download that you can exit out of that or you can leave it aside, it doesn't matter. But you also want to go to the other link description, which is mod loader, and you want to scroll down and you want to go to mod loader beta 1.8. And you want to download whatever one you want. And once you get them to downloaded, you want to bring them to your desktop or wherever you want to put them. But I put them on the desktop. And what you want to do now is going to create up a backup in case anthe does go wrong during the tutorial. So you want to go down to the Windows icon in the search bar, type percent app data percent you should get a folder up here called Roman if not type in run and you should get a little window called run and what you want to type in the search bar is percent app data percent press ok and the folder will come up again so yeah once you get inside here you'll see a dot minecraft folder at the top you want to right click in it and you want to go copy you want to right click in your desktop and you want to go paste and once that's pasted in, let that and that is your backup in case anything does go wrong in the tutorial. And all you'll have to do is delete the one if you do mess up and dr uh, drag it back in and you're, it's back to normal. But uh, that won't be happening guys unless you follow this tutorial like I'd say. So I'm going to do step by step while we're installing it now. So I'm going to click on the dot .minecraft. You want to go to bin. You want to go to the minecraft.jar. You will need an archiver program. I suggest using WinRAR or 7zip. So I'm using WinRAR and uh, I'll put a link to that in the description also. And you want to click on the WinRAR and inside here this is your Minecraft.jar. So you can leave this uh, Minecraft.minecraft bin op leave it open. So you can leave it aside and you want to put the Minecraft.jar you just open with WinRAR full screen. And you'll notice a bunch of folders and class files so what you want to do is delete the meta INF folder first. Right, if you do not delete this, this will not work it blocks mods from working so that's the point of that so you just delete that and now you're left with all the exact same so what you want to do is we're going to start in the mod loader so you want to click on the mod loader with WinRAR it should be on WinRAR file if you have it installed so you want to bring that aside and you want to go back in your minecraft.jar what you want to do now is you want to highlight all the class files up to the top class file not the top folder up to the last class file at the very top and you want to drag it into the minecraft.jar and on the winner little uh, window that pops up make sure it's on add and replace files press ok and it should just do a little flash and that's ok so don't worry about that and you want to exit out of mod loader now and you want to go in to the zombies mod pack so you're going to open up this and like I said you'll see a good few folders in here we're only worried about two and you want to go back in your minecraft.jar and in here in the zombie mod pack you'll see class, config and source we'll want to click on the class files first and you'll see a bunch of class files again go down at the very top class file drag it down to the very bottom with the highlight then what you're going to do is drag them in or copy and paste it in does not matter make sure it's on add and replace files press ok and now you're finished with the minecraft.jar so you can exit out of that and you want, all you want to do now is click the top folder inside the zombies mod pack double click it and it'll bring you back to the beginning if not just exit out of it and click on the zombie mod pack again so you want to leave this aside over here for a minute and what you want to do is go back onto your .minecraft bin which you, I said to leave open if not just type in percent update percent again and go and click on your .minecraft and it'll bring you back where it says bin here so what you're gonna do is just go back inside your bin with all the inside just inside your dot minecraft and here what you wanna do if you you won't have a you won't have a folder called mods so we're gonna create one so we're gonna go right click we're gonna go new folder and we're gonna go call it mods no capitals just M O D S 
then you'll have a new folder, it's going to be empty, so you'll just click inside it. What you'll do is go on your zombies mod pack, click on config, and you'll see a bunch of uh, text documents. And back inside your mods folder, you want to click another, make a new folder again. So you're going to click new, a folder, and you want to call this zombie, capital Z, sorry, no, normal said O M B E. It's spelled with a different way, so I said O M B E. And what you're going to do is let go, and it'll be called zombie. And you want to click inside that. And what you're going to do is highlight all the text documents, and you want to drag them inside that, into that. And then you can exit out of your zombies mod pack, and you can just go on your zombies folder now, and you'll see all the text files. You want to go inside your config dot text, right? And inside here, you'll see a bunch of um, well writing and all that. This is where you can let this mod spawn. So you've got 26 mods in this config text. So I'm going to just show you how to put the flying mod on, um, which I think most people are here for, if not. Um, but yeah, you can just all you have to do is go down to the flying mod, aka flying, whatever mod you want to turn on. And you'll see this little uh, hash in front of it, and you want to take that away. And then that is that done. So you just go file and save, and you do that for all the other mods you want. So you can scroll down and do it to any other mod, such as the path mod, whichever the, the path tracker. You just do that. You take it away, but we don't need to do that because I don't want that mod. So you can just exit out of that. Make sure you saved it, and you want to go on your Minecraft now and open it. Run it. Then you want to log in. So let it run up now, and you just want to log in. And uh, if you get do get a black screen, leave a comment. But you shouldn't, guys, if you do it correctly and follow my steps. So I'm going to create a new world. Um, I'm just going to call it uh, 1.8. Okay, I've got the 8. There we go. I'm going to create a new world and let this uh, build. So you might have to mess around with the controls, guys, because um, they are set. Uh, but you can mix them around. Um, like for fog, it's F, and to fly, it's F. So you can might have to change that. But uh, yeah, I spawn in a biome I suppose a new biome that's in the game you press F and you're flying as you see under Minecraft beta 1.8 it says flying so uh, it is tend to lag due to I am recording too so yeah that is it guys you're flying now I uh, hope this guy I hope this video helped if it did leave a like and I'll see you in the next video guys alright peace